From light snowfall overnight. People living in some portions of the area already say they feel like they've seen enough as their streets have been covered in ice and snow for several days and the snow continues to come down. We are now seeing in excess of 150 different districts that have gone with delays and some of those are organizations as well. You know, food banks and things like that have also mentioned those delays. Many of those are to the north in Butler County and northern Allegheny County, but we're also seeing Washington County, Green County, even portions out near Indiana. Armstrong County has got some delays out there as well. So we continue to see more and more issues when it comes to our morning snow. Another issue, the 10th Street bypass in downtown Pittsburgh remains closed this morning. Flooding over the weekend left it covered with thick layers of ice, snow and slush. Megan Schiller joins us with a live look at that this morning. Good morning. No big change since we last talked with you a half an hour ago. However, we did just see one of the vehicles go down here along the 10th Street bypass. The crews were out here for several hours. They were spraying some de-icing liquid whenever we first arrived, and they also were pressure washing the area to get it clean because all of that dirty river water came over the embankment here, flooded the entire area on Friday. And then you'll remember that whole thing turned into thick ice four feet of ice is what they had to push off to the side you can see it up above the uh, guardrail there now they say that they had to put some into the river and then they piled it up where they could but it was a really big headache for them they had many many crews out here throughout the course of the weekend trying to remove all of this ice and get it ready to where it looks right now which is significantly better than it did over the course of the weekend so we've just been standing by as it has continued to be closed to see if it will affect your morning commute Last we talked to them, they said that they did hope to have it back open at the latest by this afternoon. And we were hoping, since it looked like crews were working pretty quickly whenever we got out here around 4 this morning, that maybe it would be open before the, the rush hour this morning. We have yet to hear any update about that. So we've been standing by, continuing to check down to see if we see any cars passing through, if they remove those road close signs. So we'll, of course, let you know whenever that finally happens. We're going to keep an eye on it. But for now, until then, reporting live, Megan Schiller, KDKA. TV morning news.